Good morning everyone this is another session on palmistry and in this video I wanted to correlate uh, some of the astrological concepts into the palm as well uh, as I saw a lot of things to be you know quite accurate and uh, uh, so I thought of sharing them so uh, that is the point of making this video now uh, let's let's just go into the basics of the houses now these are the houses of the Vedic astrological chart we are having the first house then the second then third fourth fifth sixth seventh eighth ninth tenth eleventh and the twelfth house so these are the twelve houses which are found in the hand now, the first round, uh, first house relates to your identity the second house immediate surroundings the third house relates to your communication fourth house is about uh, your home life your uh, caring nature your mother things like that fifth house about uh, again education sixth house about health and diseases seventh house about marriage eighth house is about interest in occult ninth house is interest in spirituality tenth is how public sees you eleventh and twelfth house are more so to do with your subconscious mind so these are the basic definition of the houses now let us try to correlate what will happen with different movements or different placements of the planets in different houses and how that can be impacted in your hand it's just a, a way to uh, you know explain you how it happens now let us see the third house and third house is what third house is about communication it's about your throat okay if you see physical body wise the first house indicates towards your head and then it comes towards your mouth and all this part and third house comes to about neck and and that's why the third is house is about communication about your throat about uh, respiration things like that now what happens if the third house lord goes into the eighth house now we know that the third house lord goes into the eighth house the person's communication can suffer drastically and uh, because the third house is about communication eighth house is a dushantya houses and it's not considered good so when the third house goes into the eighth house it means that the person's speech might suffer the person might not be very good um, uh, speaker the person might not be very good in singing the person might not be very good in writing uh, or wherever communication is required okay in the hand how we can correlate for example the third house lord the third house lord goes into the eighth house let's say the third house is the sign of gemini okay third house has the sign of gemini just an example so the lord would be lord would be mercury and now suppose the mercury has gone into the eighth house that would mean that there would be problem in communication and there can be issues related to uh, your speech and that can be seen in the hand as well for example there might not be very well developed mount of mercury or the mercury finger can be shorter or the mercury finger can be set it low down okay setting uh, mercury fingers length tell about your communication skills so if it is short that means the communication skills have reduced again the amount of mercury is not well developed and again it can indicate that you know uh, uh, that the uh, mercury and qualities that is communication writing etc have not been used uh, very well so again that's a, a problem here so you have to check in that or you can see that the these business lines are not in a straight way but they are broken into small patches which again means bad uh, not so very good communication skills or a bit nervousness coming in the third house is about communication and things like that uh, and neck and and because of not proper communication and all there can be nervousness so you can also see a lot of random lines all of the all over the palm so that is how you can cross check the placement of different planets now let's say the fifth house uh, lord goes into the eighth house okay now the fifth house is about your pra uh, about your basic education it's about um children it's about uh, your creative talents all these kind of things are judged from the fifth house now if fifth house goes into the eighth house now eighth house is not a good sign eighth house is a dushanta house as we know so they will brought they will be bringing some negative effects so what will happen is if the fifth house goes into the eighth house and then there can be problem in in, in in especially in your career in the starting part of your career so you might see a missing fate line altogether in the beginning of the lifeline that means initial struggles in the fate line or you might see on the headline there are islands which means initial frustration uh, in the education field uh, and and that's how you can correlate because the fifth house is more so to do with your education and creative fields again creative fields would also spoil the sun line as well so that is how you have to keep correlating okay now for example the seventh house goes into the eighth then seventh house is about marriage and it's about your partner and it goes into the eighth house and there can be some issues related to marriage so you might see a small folk uh, on the marriage line or other defect markings over the palm so that is how you have to correlate uh, the placements of 
different uh, lords that is the third house lord into the eighth fifth house lord into eight seventh house lord into eight and that's how you can keep interpreting these line so uh, uh, these are these were f few of the concepts which i also wanted to in induce in, in in this video and um, uh, also remember one thing see long fingers are generally much better because they go into too much detail the uh, and also long and straight headline i have found to be having a good effect generally so if you see these two combinations uh, be ready or tell the person that he is very detailed and extremely logical and rational because these are the markings which are generally found in very very uh, detail oriented persons and who have good amount of logical caliber so hopefully you got the point across as to how to connect with the astrology into palmistry and see the changes therein and hopefully the uh, concepts will become clearer thank you take care bye bye